Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we are looking at 84 rated Roman Eremenko. He's got 79 pace, 83 shooting, 87 passing, 84 dribbling and 80 physical. With high high work rates, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. This guy is okay, you know, his positioning is a little off mainly because of those work rates. His shooting is good, it's not great, but it's definitely good. His passing is exceptional. He can dribble, he's strong, he's got a bit of pace to him. But he's not that great, frankly. I mean, he has some issues. Five games, five goals, one assist. It's not bad for discard value in form. I just remember playing with his regular card that I just absolutely smashed it with. And this card, I'm not so sure is better than that card. Is it worth spending an extra 10,000 coins for this card? I don't really think it is. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got very good ball control at 88, with 82 dribbling, 80 finishing, 76 free kick accuracy, 83 long passing, 89 long shots, 85 shot power, and 90 short passing. Now, looking at his physical stats, he does have 80 attacking positioning, 83 acceleration, 82 agility, 92 vision, 75 strength, 74 sprint speed, and 75 jumping. The stats are okay, his positioning is a little lackluster, in my opinion, for that cam roll. He drops too far back a lot of the time. Maybe a centre mid would be a better option. But he does have really good passing, and he is a good shooter of the ball. I mean, the guy can score a goal, so he's, it's kind of a conflict of where to play him. He couldn't play striker because it would just be hell. I mean, it really would. He would just be all over the place, and his finishing isn't really up to that level. He's a good player, he's just not really that great. He's not bad at anything, but he's not. he doesn't excel in er any area. But now, let's move on to some highlights. As we can see here, he picks the ball out wide, and he's able to go by his man. I mean, the guy is a sufficient enough dribbler. He's a very good finisher, and that's what really makes this card so frustrating, is because of his horrible work rates and his horrible positioning, it's just really frustrating. I mean, he doesn't necessarily have the finishing ability of a striker that you'd want, but frankly, he can score a goal. Give this guy a chance. And because of his dribbling, it isn't that he doesn't have the ability. It's just that when you're not controlling him, he's off doing strange things, not being in the right position. But once you get control of this guy, I mean, the guy can do some damage. He's quick enough. He's kind of deceptively quick. You know, his dribbling isn't that high on this level. And, you know, 82 dribbling is not the highest. But I felt that he had something going for him. I've always liked this card. So I was always kind of going into this hoping that he would be better than this. And he's not. I mean, he's okay for a discard value. I mean, obviously, try him out. He's not really going to cost you anything. His long shots are okay, as you can see there. You know, he does everything okay. He doesn't wow me. And I think that's what I was really kind of surprised about. Because his other cards, mainly his regular card, legitly wow me. Just like, he's just doing something crazy, he's scoring amazing goals. But this guy, I thought his positioning was just really bad. I really noticed how bad the positioning was. And it got to the point where I have to go get him, find him, because he, you know, he's got a distinctive haircut. I can always find him on the pitch, get him the ball. And then once he gets the ball, there's no arguing that this guy has the ability to change a game on its head because of his amazing dribbling and his great finishing. Really kind of finishing that I did not expect. I mean, you could play this guy at striker and you would have good results. And mainly why I say don't play him at striker or really cam in a lot of ways is because of the positioning. It ruins everything. But apart from that, he's a decent player. He's solid. I mean, he's probably not really worth the coins. I would go over his regular card, actually. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom, and make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye-bye.